Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper, episode 39. And we have some big news, the channel has officially hit 3,500 subscribers, so I cannot thank you all enough, it means so much to me to see the growth of this channel, it is incredible and I really do appreciate your support on all the videos and the live streams as well, it's been so much fun. So thank you once again, there's one more thing you can do for me, leave a like on the video, let's see if we get to 75 likes, subscribe if you're new, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers now, and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a thing. So moving on to the first game of today we're coming as a substitute against Transperspor, the Turkish team. I don't know how to pronounce it so if I butcher it I apologise but we start off well diving at the players feet, gathering the ball up nicely. Not long after he gets a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with me. Are you having a laugh? And he finds the back of the net with a decent strike but I'm pretty disappointed because I thought I covered the angles beautifully but apparently I didn't. He sneaks it into that side corner. Not the start I wanted coming on as a substitute. I made a good first attempt at a save but this one's just not good enough. Looks like the angle's okay but he could pick either side and he just powers it past I make a good attempt, I'm so close to making the save, but sadly we're 1-0 down at home as well in the Europa League, and now it's Tadic on a darting run into the box, holding off the two players there, still holding the ball, the men just find the ball into the man in the middle, then it's Adeyemi on the back post who tucks it in, levelling this game up, and of course it's Adeyemi, the man, the myth, the legend, there's no myth, he is definitely a legend, what a star he has been, but Tadic with a darting run, I don't know who that is in the middle, but finds Adeyemi on the back post, defenders have no idea, don't even know where he is, and it's the easiest goal of his career, what a tap in, all level now, 77 minutes, Adeyemi again, this time the keeper does try I make a decent save with feet to keep Adeyemi from scoring once more. And then, I don't know who that is, just takes the ball straight to his face. What a touch. Look at that. On the chin. That's the result with injury from it. Straight on the chin. Now it's back to West Ham on the attack. NW plays the through ball. Can we finish it right here, right now? Adeyemi! Yes, we can. Adeyemi once more getting his brace for this game. Puts us into the lead. Runs over to David Moyes for the celebration who turns his back on him for some reason. How dare he treat our star man like that. But look at this little one 2 -zoo. Technically, NW with the three will times perfectly. And Adeyemi shows that composure to draw the goalkeeper out who leaves that little gap at that near post that Stefan just can't quite get his foot on it. His toe wasn't long enough and we're into the lead. Now into the of the game. Transport get an opportunity but it's deflected. They get the head on to me but it's easy. Easy enough gather as hold on to ball nice and tightly. One last opportunity before the end of the game. A decent strike but a strong hand for myself. A little pass back put me under pressure but I show some composure. And we do go on to win the game 2-1. We do have the away game still to go but the one goal extra will do us lovely. Apparently I'm still not good enough for David Moyes so I'm on the substitute bench once again. This time against Liverpool. He's doing his best to big me up once again. Hype me up. I'm going to perform great this game. I can feel it in my bones. But Liverpool are the first ones on the attack. A little head at the near post but a nice easy one to settle me into the game. Adiemi here tries to spin the shot but it's easy enough save for Addison who pushes it out for the corner. Now back to Liverpool and tackle one two at the near post but there I am once more springing across my line. Now looking at this, who does Laurenti think he is? I'm Mace in goal and he tries that against me? I don't think so son. Mm, indeed, how dare you try to score on a worldie against me? It is not happening. A poor attempt from us here. It hits the side net. And now Liverpool, nine minutes left of this game. They do get their goal. They beat me. It's Yota, who is my nemesis. Whenever we play against Liverpool, this game, last game, he always scores against me. Runs over to Jurgen Klopp, who is nowhere to be seen. I don't know what's going on there. He wants nothing to do with the celebrations. He wants to get his head in the game. But it's a decent goal, starting down that right side. I don't really stand a chance. The ball is played across twice. I think it's Salah who gets the assist. He hits it straight past. Me. I do stand my ground, maybe I should have made a diving effort, but it's not good enough, kind of flap my hands at it, probably should be saving it's close enough, but we're 1-0 down against Liverpool, and they still want more, this time it's Salah with the attempt, but it's a spectacular save from myself, blow my own trumpet, another one, this time it's easy for me to hold on to it, now we're into injury time, I played the ball out quickly, and charge up the pitch, little one twosie all the way up, me and Camavinga working our way up the pitch, one more to be to end down belly, I think it's Demerbate in the box, no Mark and it is it, tying this game up with the last kick of the game and I'm taking all the credit look at that I make some space NW plays it to him and look at the space on that side of the net Allison has left a gap bigger than the Grand Canyon and the Travella is cheeky but look at that nowhere near the ball at all and it's 1-1 in this game that could be it and that is it literally was the last kick of the game and we get a point from this game Liverpool drop another two but look at that I played pretty well 6.6 .6 rating three saves against six shots against I will take that every day of the week now we move on to the second leg against Transbus Spore and obviously we're still winning 2-1 on aggregate but this game is very important we cannot concede any goals we need to get a couple as well to make sure we definitely move further
further on in the Europa League. We start off the game, one twosies all around the pitch. Look how quick we're moving the ball. No one near us. Look how quick the passing is. And that's not even sped up. But anyway, the ball ends up to Adi Yemi. One of the goalkeeper, he finds that side net. And what a start to this game. Three and a half minutes in and he gives us that bit of extra cushion we need. 3-1 on aggregate now and that has to start everyone. So the names are still scrolling through the picture. Cannot believe it. Adi Yemi gets tackled. The ball falls back to our midfielder very luckily. And then Adi Yemi just pounces on the ball. Defenders nowhere to be seen. Hits it nice and early. Goalkeeper can't quite get himself set. He does try his best. A little fingertip away from saving it. But he couldn't quite get there. Now it's Endor Belly with his time to shine. One of the goalkeeper once more. But this time the keeper charged that nice and quickly. Good save with his feet. 20 minutes on the clock now. Transport with the first attack of the game. A little one twos Hits it first time. But look out for a save. Good strong hand to push it over the crossbar. It may look like an easy enough save. But I am moving one way. And I have to change my direction. He hits it with a lot of power on the bouncing ball as well. Look at that. Set myself nice and quickly though. Strong hand. Push it over. And the ball flies away. That's what keeping is all about. Now their confidence seems to be building another opportunity this time. Look at that. Two-handed save. I seem to be getting my magic back with all these saves. Now we're on the attackers. Endor body doesn't quite have the pace. The defenders are closing down, but he does manage to get into the box. Into the six-yard box. Hits it in the near post, but it's a great save. Now transport try a little long range. It's going wide, but I'm forced into save. Just to make sure I'm building my rate inside. So don't get subbed off. Now into injury time with the first half. Hazard whips the ball into Adiemi. Wins the header, but it's an easy save for Steph and holds on to it until the referee blows for the first half to be done. And we're up 1-0, 3-1 on aggregate, and we need to keep this because it's still a very tense game next goal could set that team up for a victory here and transport the first one through the attempt to deflect go to that top corner but easy save i don't think you have any idea how fast i really am i'm fast as boy adiem is showing his pace and he finds the back in there after that long run how do you still have the composure off that i'd be absolutely blowing off that he ran the half the length of the pitch no defender could keep up with him look at the space there the keeper charges out as well but can't get out quick enough and he just powers it past him at that near post to put us 2-0 in the lead, 4-1 on aggregate. We cannot blow it away here, can we? Transport still not giving up though. Little block in the box. I don't know how it's worked its way all the way to here. Lays it off, finds a bottom corner, and they are back into this game. 2-1. Now what a strike. Kind of caught me off guard, but the ball falls perfectly to him. And he rifles it, pole drives it into that bottom corner. It's a beauty, but again, I'm a little bit disappointed. I am so close to saving this. Look how close I am. I do leave that massive gap there. Spring across my line, but I'm literally I'm a fingernail away from saving it very unfortunate now we're into 80th minute another attempt look at that for a save push it up get up quickly yes i can and punch it out defenders do a great job of covering me but look at this i'm moving one way look how wide the gap in my legs are push it up nice and high and do get up quick enough And get a nice solid punch to match the save. Adiemi tries to finesse it past the keeper just over the crossbar. Now transport three minutes left of this game. They hit it straight past me. Wow. Okay. Now I am sweating. I have no idea how I have not saved that. Caught off guard big time. Strikes it from behind the defender. I can't set myself and just watch the ball fly straight past me. It's 2-2. We're winning 4-3 on aggregate. It's squeaky bum time at its finest. But look how quick he strikes it. I was not focused at all. Lost my composure. Lost all concentration. Hits it well though. Look at that. Should be saving it though. Straight at me. Just refuse to react to it and watch the ball fly past. But we have done enough to draw the game 2-2 on the night. 4-3 on aggregate that got real scary closing in on the end of the game but I played pretty well 7.0 rating I made some decent saves let myself down with one of them at least but overall I'm a very happy chappy now we move on to the last game of the episode against Manchester United of all teams you know my favorite team my dream team and they're the ones that start off pretty strongly in the game Ericsson holds the ball lovely plays it out wide the ball works his way back to Ericsson he tries a long range it hits it well but I'm there spring across two hands push it out for the corner and from that corner they play it short draw defenders out a little through ball to I think it's Williams and now I'm there at that near post once again. Now it's my centre back who loses the ball. Wins it back and gets tackled by Casemiro. Gets absolutely snapped. And in my eyes, that is a red card every day of the week. What will the referee give it? Our defender is down. It's only a yellow. How has he got away with that? We all know Casemiro deserves a red for everything he does. Come on. But it is actually a brutal chance. He does well to get the ball back after losing it. But Casemiro just snaps him. Maybe it's not as bad as it first looked. He comes in with the top of his boot, not the bottom. And then this should be a penalty. Look at that. Hazard gets absolutely pushed miles. But he gets back up to win the ball into the box. Now plays it across. One more to Adiyemi. But De Gea with a fantastic save. And we get a corner later on. A little header into the box. One more touch. But De Gea is performing out of his skin. Two up close shots, which he does save. Then Milinkovic loses the ball to Williams. Hits it long ranger. And I'm there once more. Look at the movement on this ball. I take a step to my right as well. But I gather myself quickly. Get a strong hand and push it out for a corner. I'm 
I'm playing pretty well here once more at the near post McTominay strikes it and I'm there I cannot be beaten the magic is back I am feeling confident McTominay hits it pretty decently but I am covering that near post it's an easy enough save in the end but once more Manchester United all over us near post again but this one goes wide but I had it covered every day of the week now we're finally on attack Adi Yemi tries finessing it but it bounces off the defender and easy gather for De Gea and that is where the first half ends nil nil it's a pretty even game but Manchester United have definitely been more dominant overall I'm hoping we can make more opportunities in the second half but Manchester United are one starting exactly where they left off a little finesse just past the post once more and again played into the box as Anthony hits it first time and once more I am there I must be getting right on their nerves with all these saves I am making now only five minutes left of this game the corner's whipped in but straight at me and I hold on to it nicely finally we're on the attack Adi Yemi charged into the box one of the head hits it bounces off the crossbar that could have won the game they clear the ball and the referee says that is enough ends the game all tied up nil nil and what a performance myself as a man of the match performance as well six out of six saves the hair played decently as well but the honors go to me man of the match and what a performance i feel so much more confident the magic is definitely back but sadly that's going to be it for today's episode i hope you did enjoy if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you're new turn notifications on and as always look after yourself stay safe and i'll speak to you next time goodbye